boy CG. It's me. Y'all already know the deal, gentlemen and ladies. I'm back with some more heat. So before I even get started diving into this very, very, very important topic, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to my Patreon for only $5 a month. Get the most exclusive fitness content, the most exclusive investing content, and all the above. You do not want to miss out on that from so only $5 a month. Be sure to tap into my Patreon, smash the like button, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on y'all post notifications and send me the freaking moon, y'all. We're almost we're we're almost getting to that that 1.52k mark and it's gonna start snowballing. So make sure y'all drop a like, y'all drop a comment, and send me the freaking moon. So without further ado, let's dive right, right, right into this topic. So after talking to my roommate, you know what I'm saying? My roommate's the boy. Without him, this channel wouldn't be possible. Um I was sh shooting the shit with him, and we was just talking. We was like, yo, bro, like, like I would never ever want to be like that dude where like girls like talk about and be like, oh my God, like he's so sweet. He's so adorable. Um, he's a great friend. I love like just being with him and he'll listen to all my problems and I can talk about other dudes and like my problems with other dudes and like just vent to him and be an emotional tampon and, and all the above, right? So me and my roommate just like, I would not want to be that dude. Like if a girl ever calls me like, oh my God, he's such a sweet guy. There's a difference between us being a sweet guy and being like a good guy, you know what I'm trying to say? But um, there's a fine line between that, don't, don't, don't get it twisted. But you don't wanna be known as that sweet guy. I'm telling my roommate, I'm like, yo bro. And he said the same, I'm like, yo bro, if a girl ever said, yo, he's CG, he's such a sweet, adorable little guy, I would just, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably quit doing YouTube and go hide in a hole somewhere. But um, anyway, so we were just talking about that. And we was like, yo, we I have to make a video on this, bro. Like we can't, lead dudes in the right direction of like, I mean, in the wrong direction of, okay, just tolerate the friend zone. Just be cool with the friend zone. I was telling my roommate, I was like, yo, bro, I would rather not hang out with girls at all and chill in with the boys and, and watch Family Guy or do whatever um, than go out with girls and like be known as that dude. Just be, just to say you're hanging out with girls and just to go around and to other people, oh yeah, yeah, I'm hanging out with girls, bro. Look at me, I'm mad, cool. That's how you act to other people. But then to the girls, you're not really pushing P, you're not pushing the envelope. You're not, you're not getting anywhere with any of them. And deep down, you know that you want to get with one of them. So what's the point of not taking initiative on that and not acting on your natural masculine human urge, but you're going to sit there and act like, oh yeah, yeah, no, like it's cool, bro. I'm just hanging out with all these girls, but like just pulling up, being that emotional tampon and being basically like the, um, how do I word this without getting my channel demonetized? Be that best friend, if you know what I'm trying to say. You don't want to be that their best friend like that if you know what i'm saying so how do you avoid the friend zone well here's the thing is you have to make it known right from the jump is that you should never tolerate the friend zone like if a girl says you know what you'll be a great friend you can be a great friend we can be friends this that and the other dude you do not want to even take part in that because the friend zone is broken up into three different categories and 90 percent of them are fall into two different categories it's either um i don't find you attractive enough but i want you to hang around with me to boost my ego up that's one or two, it's the free attention. So also goes into the ego thing. So that's basically most guys in the friend zone are gonna fall under those two categories, a freaking orbiter. What is an orbiter? An orbiter is basically a dude who hangs around a girl just to give her free attention, free validation, all this, that, and the other, just to boost her ego up. And she's gonna keep him around in the friend zone just to boost her ego up. When meanwhile, he isn't getting anywhere and never will get anywhere, but he doesn't know that. And he's always gonna hang out with her and be friends with her <clears throat> in hopes of maybe one day getting a crumb of the box so you never want to be that dude you never want to fall into that category of being the best friend you hang out with them you be a freaking entertainer dancing monkey doing magic tricks for all the girls when you're hanging out and i know a lot of dudes like that and it's a very sad story but anyway is you don't want to fall into those categories so some of my boys back home not so much my boys at school but my boys back home would be like yo bro you you're a little too cutthroat like a girl would be like like, oh, I don't want to hang out tonight, this, that, and the other. I'll just, if they if they waste my time or flake on me, I just remove them. You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally. I'm not telling y'all to do that because then all of a sudden somebody removes somebody that, that they flaked on you. Now I'm getting emails. I'm getting text messages. I'm getting Instagram DMs. Yo, CJ, you you don't mess my whole shit up. I, 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 you told me to remove this girl. And now all of a sudden she, she, she's not adding me back, whatever, whatever. She's not pursuing me anymore. And you told me to remove her and you don't mess my whole shit up. Nah, bro, I'm not telling you to do all that. But if you want to do all that route, I go that route because my time, energy, and attention are very, very valuable. So you need to put a time, you need to put a stamp on your time, your attention, and your validation. It should only be given out when it is earned. You shouldn't be that dude who is being the dancing monkey entertainer, tolerating the friend zone. 
Because for me personally, bro, for a guy like me, I know my worth. I can boss her whole life up. You feel what I'm saying? But when you sit there and you tolerate the friend zone and you sit there and you you talk about other dudes, which I think if a girl even talks about another dude around you, that is the, one of the most disrespectful things she could do. Like if a girl's talking about another dude, I'll straight tell her I really don't care. If you're going to keep talking about that and not change the subject, we can just end it right here. And they don't know what to say. Uh, I'm sorry. Got to lay down boundaries, bro. It's not about being insecure. It's about like a respecting. Now on the flip side of things, a girl will say, oh, you know what? You're insecure, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, you just... You gotta have boundaries, dude. You know what I'm saying? You don't wanna be the guy that turns into the guy that that all she talks about is her guy problems. All she talks about is a dude, Chad, Brad, and Tyrone, who's keeping her up at night because they're dogging her out. And you're sitting there listening to her like this. You don't wanna be that dude. You don't wanna be that dude who's friends with all, every single girl on campus, but you can't go home with one. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to be cool with them. I'm not saying that. But don't try to act like you're that. Don't try to act like something you're not. You feel what I'm saying? That's the whole point of this video. Is like, guys and girls can be friends. We can go out. We can be cool with that and the other. But deep down, somebody's always gonna have an ulterior motive, whether it's one of the guys or one of the girls. And no one can sit here and tell me otherwise, because trust me, I've seen it in the friend groups and all this that and the other. That's the thing that differenti differentiates me and my channel from a lot of these other channels similar to mine on YouTube is that I'm living the game every single day. I see this stuff every single day with my own two eyes, talk about it with other people to validate my sources, and then go on here and, and preach about it to y'all. You feel what I'm saying? But that's why you should never tolerate the friend zone is because deep down, they know you want to get with them. Deep down, they know that they're good looking chicks, or maybe not so. But deep down, they know that you want to get with them and you want to dog them out, pull their hair and do all the above. But you're not acting on it because you, you, you're too scared to, and they can smell that. Girls smell fear like they smell, like sharks smell blood in the water, bro. If you're scared to go talk to a girl, you're scared to go make a move on her, but yet you keep giving her the eyes, but you're too scared to actually go make a move on her, they can smell that and they can sense that. They sense that insecurity and they're just going to use that against you. And if she's talking about another dude around you, she doesn't respect you. If you're sitting there being the dancing monkey, being the dude that they all cuddle up with, but the dude who never gets any, they probably don't respect you deep, deep down. They honestly probably don't respect you deep, deep down. Because if you're sitting there and they know you want to get with them deep, deep down, but you're not acting on it, bro, they don't respect you. Dog, they don't respect you. So how do you break out of the friend zone? You have to do one of two things. To break out of the friend zone, you either have to just one, go ghost, go MIA and start working on yourself. Or two, you tell them what it is. You're like, look, I don't see, this is how I play it. Is that if a girl says, you know, we should just be friends. We should just be cool, whatever, whatever. I've only had this happen to me like this hasn't happened to me in years, but I remember how I played it. I was like, look, I'm not trying to be your friend. You know, if, we, if you don't see us going anywhere, you don't see our interactions getting any further than just hanging out and being cool, there's really no point in it. And she's going to respect you for that. Deep down, she might get mad. She might call you a stuck up asshole. She might flip out on you and get all emotional and sound and all that. But deep down, when she lays her head on the pillow at night, where she's in that shower, she will respect you for having boundaries. She will respect you more for having boundaries and walking away than sitting there um, pretending to be somebody you're not pretending to try to, to pretend that you don't want to get with her when deep deep down you do because deep down you know that that guy that's hanging out with all the girls but isn't getting any taking all the pictures with three girls on his arm and he's smiling cheesing ear to ear you really think he's going home with any but we all know that one dude who tries to act all tough yeah bro i'm hanging out with all these girls tonight you know what i mean bro like whatever whatever posting on Instagram, smiling from ear to ear, but you know he's not getting any. But you know deep, deep down, he would probably dog out all six girls in the picture. But he's gonna act like he doesn't because he's gonna keep trying to play that nice guy friend card because he thinks that that will get him somewhere. But deep down, them girls do not respect him and will never respect him. But he thinks that they will. He's got the game backwards. If you walk away from being that, that emotional tampon friend type of dude, if you walk away from being the, the emotional support guy, when she's getting dogged out by Chad Brad Tyrone and the starting quarterback of the football team. If you walk away from being that dude and being the emotional support dude, and you go out and, and you start making your own friends, interacting with, with different girls, actually pursuing them like you want to do all along, you'd actually get somewhere because they would respect you. And maybe, just maybe, the girls that you that had you in the friend zone, you'd start they'd start you would start to break out of it. Because maybe if you walk away. You start doing better for yourself, attracting better women, hitting the gym, making yourself look better, getting some type of status, maybe doing something along those lines, get good at whatever you're doing. 
maybe they'd come back to you because they'd be like, damn, I didn't respect this dude enough to want to give him the time of day. But now all of a sudden I see him talking to a better looking girl. Now I want to go talk to him. I see him that he's getting some type of clout around, uh, around campus, around town, whatever. Now I want to start talking to him. I see he got good at something. He got good at art. He got an award for art. I don't know. He got an award for, for playing sports. He got an award for playing an instrument. Now I want to go talk to him. You feel me? You see how that works? You go get a cute ass girlfriend. You go get a bad girlfriend. Badder than all the girls that you used to be stuck in the friend zone with. Now all of a sudden they want you. Why? Because they're jealous. That's how they work. So you can break out of the friend zone in two ways. You can just one, just go ghost. And they'll respect you for that. And you tell you go ghost, but you tell them what it is. You don't just go MIA because then they're just going to be like, oh, but you tell them what it is. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I, I really want to get with you, but I don't see this really going anywhere. It's kind of wasting my time. Put a value on, on your time. Put a value on your attention. Put a stamp on it. They'll respect you for it. And then two, after you go ghost, it's a, it's a calculated strategy. After you go ghost, you go out and you get a bad chick. You get a good looking chick. You doesn't have to be a freaking supermodel, but just as good looking or better looking than the girls you used to be friends with. You know what I'm trying to say? So you go do that, then you go get good at something, and then they'll come back to you. Mark my words, bro. Hit the gym, make yourself look better, get some type of clout. I bet they'll come back to you. Why? Because they get jealous. Because they want to see what the hype is around everyone else. They want to see what the hype is around you. You get a bad chick, damn, I want to see what the hype is around him. Damn, he hit the gym. He looks kind of good now. I really had him in the friend zone like that. Damn, that's crazy. Now they want to come back. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight. It might not happen this semester. It might not happen this month. But over time, bro, this stuff takes time. Self-improvement takes time. But you don't want to be stuck in the friend zone for all that time. Because you can be stuck in the friend zone wanting to dog out a chick for years, bro. All the high school, all the college, trying to play that nice guy friend card. And you get nowhere with the girl that you really want. Really, if you just walked away and work on yourself, I bet she'll come to you. It's crazy how that works, isn't it, bro? Anyway, it's all I got for y'all today, gentlemen. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to the Patreon. Follow my gram for only $5 a month. Smash the like button. Follow my Twitter, too. Turn on y'all post notifications. Send me to friggin' moon. CG signing out, man.